What's going on everybody? Yif Graphics here and today I'm bringing you a uh, let's read, let's play. I don't really know what this would be. I know this is more of reading. I don't know about playing, but this game is called Major Minor and it's a furry game. Saw it on the Cringe channel. Saw they had a trailer there. Someone posted up a trailer. I guess they thought it was cringeworthy. I went to the Steam page, bought the game, and now I'm going to be playing it. <clears throat> it's mostly reading, so it is recommended that you utilize multiple save files. I don't know why I would do that. Both keyboard and controller are supported for input. What? F4 will toggle for full screen mode. Mouse and keyboard users, please press escape or right click to delete letters. Left click to highlight and select items. Both left click and enter advance story text. Please enjoy and choose wisely. Okay. I don't know how the controller would work, but I guess I'm, I don't have a controller. I don't think I would need one. Where am I? Just a moment ago, I was on a bullet train. And now, I look all around me. What I see should be an impossibility. My feet are not on solid ground. I start to panic, my heart beating at an incredible rate. What the hell? Considering that I can still breathe, I start to focus only on that. That's supposed to help. One, two, three. But as I but as if to interrupt my calming exercise, I feel a paw softly place itself on my shoulder. But instead of fright, I feel happiness. What time is it? Okay, I'll stop this at like 1.30. Welcome to the Ark. Your soul is caught between worlds. An amalgamation. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not sure. Of where you once were. And where you long to reside <clears throat> but even now it is unclear are you not sure where you belong or where you want to live to direct you life to direct you i'm bad at reading do not worry it is more common plight than you realize what is plight i will be your guide why you gotta use big words or not big words fancy words first i need a name what shall I call you? Well, you can call me Big Dick. I'm kidding. No, that's not right. That's not right. This. Nah, we'll, we'll just, I got the best name. I got the best name for all furries. Oh, what? Yeah. Yes, it's perfect. Yiffer. Hmm. My name, you ask? That is of no importance. I'm not the one who will be remembered. But if your presence here. But if your presence here portends to a fate of being written in that. Annals of time. Then I must know more. What else do they call you, Yiffer? That's about it. You're, it's, it's blank. It, no, it's not last name. Yiffer. Fucking. Face. Yiffer face, yeah. I would put fuck face, but. It just didn't seem right. No, that's not the right I don't need to see. There we go. If her face? Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Hmm, so be it. The pleasure is mine. I thank you for keeping me company in this space between spaces. What? It will not be the last time we meet here. However, this meeting will be cut short. Hmm. You see, to be fading away, your soul must be longing to return familiar to familiar. Familiar. <sighs> Fuck the word now. To your own world. But 
It won't be much longer until you are here once more. The soul's desire to flock to mystery is without pause, so until then, you are a victim of circumstance no more. This is the power granted by the Ark. The ability to create your own destiny. Many important choices will be made, and the universe will bend to them. The universe will bend to you. I look forward to watching, and I will explain more in due time. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I did start one. I'm, no, save over it. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how this game's going to pan out. I don't know how it would work. But if there's any nudity in it, I'm definitely going to censor it out. I hope there's not any gay nudity in it. I, I, I don't know how my heart can contain that knowing that I have something like that on my computer anyways let's keep going get that out of my mind my consciousness shoots back to the place I was standing just mere moments before who was that exactly and where the heck was I I scratched my head in sheer confusion and realized that these questions would go unanswered for now why it definitely wasn't a dream when you wake up from a dream, you normally know immediately that you were dreaming. What? Didn't you just wake up? <sighs> but this confusion goes beyond that. I grasp the cold metal railing in front of me. So it looks like we're on a train or a plane. I think it's a train. <clears throat> <clears throat> Those that are standing up waddle back and forth. A train. Okay, we're on a train. Changing modal. <laughs> I was lucky enough to secure a seating spot, which was for the best. It was odd that there was a railing to grip for. Those were, who were sitting down, as if they expected the possibility of someone suc succumb succumbing to vertigo. I am fancy words to vertigo and needing support as they fell. Or perhaps it was to hold on to in case of emergency, like if the train got into an accident and derailed. I shake my head, realizing that this is a childish train of thought. <laughs> Get it? We're on a train, and oh. And then I laugh at the pun I did. God damn it! <sighs> Awkward glances shift towards me. For a second, I'm glad no one around me speaks English. They won't have to question to my they won't have to question to my face why I might appear unstable, although it would be nice to have somebody I could converse with on this ride. <clears throat> it shouldn't be too much longer until we reach our destination, Tokyo, Japan. I always wanted to go to Tokyo, Japan. I hear it's very crowded there though, so I don't know how it would work. Where my cat wants in? I should just go open up the door. I'm not too loud. I'll be right back. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> They're a child that enjoys... Okay. They're a child that just enjoyed his own pun lets out an excited giggle at that fact. Who didn't dream of going to Tokyo? I think everyone wanted to experience this culture at least once in their life. Okay, so Tokyo, it's like really crowded and it's probably hard to get a rid there. Hold on, one second, I gotta do something. I have like really bad sinus problems, I'm sorry. At least once in their lives. And I was lucky enough to do it in style. And it was just the first of, first of many places on what would surely be the best year in my life. Chapter one, a rook and a hard place. See, like, I, I don't know how this game is gonna turn out. I hope it ain't. 
I saw women in the game, like, in the trailer. How do I even save this game? While my left hand gripping the railing tightly, my right hand firmly held held a can of Popstar. It was a brand of energy drink made famous by the pop idol Cla Cla Clace. Class Clace? I don't know. The pop idol whose tour I was about to go on. That's right. Two special cans were sent into the wild, and those that found them got to tour with K. Or your, I'm just gonna call her Clace or him Clace. It could be a guy. I, I, Tokyo was just the first of many stops I would make. Well, me and my newfound caffeine addiction, of course. But it was worth it. I swear. The odds of winning were literally one in billions. Then you say two? Like there are two cans, right? So it should have been like. Two and seven billion. I was ready to celebrate that fact and have the time of my life. Actually, it wouldn't be like two and seven billion because some people probably don't even have the money to actually spend on soda, so it'd probably be even less. Unless we live in a perfect world, then it'd be two and a billion or seven billion. I really hope that place is nice. I heard that some celebrities can be complete self-absurd jerks, and nobody has a really good gauge on how a celebrity acts in day-to-day -day life. I wonder if I'm a girl in this. What, it, what we see on stage is definitely not the real self. Of course, I was the sensible type of person. Sorry, I fixed my glasses here. I got a whole bunch of problems with me today. I didn't judge anybody until I actually got to know them. A character trait that was very lacking in today's world. But that's none of my business. If you hear her jingling, it's my cat. She's on my PlayStation right now. I don't know why. You just gotta itch, don't you? You gotta itch your neck. Like You gotta itch where the bell's at. <sighs> it's not right to focus on changing other people. You can really only change yourself. Well, that's true. Before I can continue anymore of my introspection, someone trips in front of me. Wait, so someone trips in front of you, but you think in your head before you can continue on to this, you're gonna tell what? They land in the seat beside me and grip the railing tightly. Oh, hey there, buddy. What are you, a squirrel? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I nod my head. It's not the end of the world or anything like that. I just didn't expect it. Hey, look, he speaks English. <clears throat> First time on a train. I'm, I'm not sure what came over me. I just got really diz dizzy all of a sudden, and my body gave away. You were looking at my amazing looks, and I caused you, you know, to get some feelings, and yeah. Good thing they have these railings to grab onto, or I might have went face first into the floor, but you just tripped on me. Not a pretty thought. Huh? Interesting. Anyways, yeah, sorry and whatnot. I'll try to keep to myself. I try to explain that it's fine and that everything is okay, but this young squirrel seems caught up on the fact that he's committed the most ingrious offense. And so I decide to let him be egregious. What? What? He just accidentally tripped on you. It's not that much of the train shakes and it comes on the grinding hole. Oh! He pulled on the brakes. The squirrel beside me starts to panic. Great. Just what we need. Oh no, what's happening? Are we going to die? I can't help but snicker at that. He's clearly one of those worst case scenario thinkers. Well, it's his first time on a train. He doesn't know how it works. It's probably just something that will even itself out. Okay, it's probably just something that will even itself out over the course of next of the next little while. Trains stall all the time. There are plenty of producers to make producers. Blah, 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 
fuck the word to make sure that people remain safe. I'll I'll think about this word over the bit. Nothing bad would happen here at all. Good thing I brought a conch so I can be in the power of where Good thing I brought a conch so I can be in power if we're stranded here. What, like the magic conch from like Spongebob? He goes to rummage through his bag. A bit of bookworm too, isn't he? I decided to just sit back and wait it out. In situations like this, there was really nothing you could do. I try to think of how I could keep myself occupied. Hmm. I can't use my phone or anything other than text messaging. The roaming data charges is while I was abroad. He can't use his phone. He probably doesn't have any games left. He just met this cute squirrel in front of him. Heck, it might just turn into something. But everyone's back home. But everyone back home is already asleep because of time zones. Everyone else on board the train starts to realize that this is no big deal also. They return to talking amongst themselves just as they were beforehand. Hey, I like that phone sound. My phone vibrates and I go to look at it. What are the odds? Oh, look at this. It's Rook. Are you almost here? I can't wait all day, you know. He's the one I'm supposed to meet at the train station. He's wondering where I am. I'm not sure exactly how to respond to this message. Do I let him know I might be behind, or do I play it cool? Say you'll be on time. Tell him you're not sure. Well, I, I really can't. How the train is, I'm going to just tell him the truth. I should just be honest with him. I can't say for sure. <clears throat> Wouldn't want to get things off to a bad start. Yeah, like if we were, uh, you know, late and he was like, where the heck were you? You said you were being on time. And certainly my least favorite thing to hear is very well. Uh, my, my, uh, my least favorite thing to hear very well. I don't mind. And I'm just going to close this window here. Okay, oh my game is still recording, but somehow I feel like that exactly, that's exactly what happened. I make a mental note for the future, not to go against any plans Rook makes for me. He seems like the type that needs everything to go according to his schedule. I, I was kind of the same way, but a little less to the extreme. I look up from my phone for a moment and ponder whether or not to respond. So is this the second winner? I see that the scroll from earlier is also texting away frantically. I wouldn't be surprised if he's texting his parents farewell from fear of death. <laughs> he was kind of anxious. I decided that it would probably be best not to reply. I wouldn't want to ex this is words that they should be teaching in school. His, anxi his anxiety about this situation and possibly make things worse. I'll give him a proper explanation in person. I put my phone away and recline in the seat. I wasn't sure exactly what Rook's relation to Clace was. I just know I just knew that he was the guy I was meeting. Oh, so okay. It's something I was only told last week. Normally, they'd have a limo or in it and everything, but I think they wanted to play it now, play it low. No need to overwhelm me the moment I arrived. As cool as a flood of media coverage sounded, I don't think I'd be able to keep my calm for too long. I wonder if he would go full on cliche and hold a large piece of cardboard that said Yiffer on it. You know, it, it wouldn't be a good sight, you know. It's just being like, yeah, that's me. I'm <laughs> bad jokes. I'm assuming that he's not the guy who would normally go and pick up contest winners. After the change of plans, he probably just volunteered. Or maybe he was forced. I liked not knowing everything. Discovering the story piece by piece would be fun. Speaking of which, I wonder who the other contestant winner was. Will we get along? Are they cool? Their personality and how we got along would definitely impact the enjoyment of this whole endeavor. 
you wouldn't want to travel the world with a stick in the mud. That's for sure. I wonder how long I can read this. Jeez. I haven't had anything that told me, you know, hey, save here. I know that I'd be more than willing to get along and have fun. So this is one of them. I was a squirrel guy. This has never happened before. I hope we're going to be okay. I thought he said that this was his first time on a train. That statement was a little odd. Well, there's no point in sitting here in an awkward silence. We might as well get to know each other for now. You can call me Keela. I bet that's the other con contestant winner. I'm here to... I'm here to visit some friends. What about you? What brings you to Tokyo? It's nice to meet another English speaker. Wait a minute. I definitely signed a non-disclosure agreement. I said I wouldn't tell anyone about my involvement in this contest until I was publicly announced. But then again, I can make a friend here. He might be... He might be mildly impressed with who I am. But isn't breaking the NDA against the law? <sighs> you know what? Screw it, we're going to tell him. I decided that there's no harm in letting such a timid young squirrel know why I'm here. It doesn't seem like it would be a bad thing. And in fact, it might help me win over a possible friendship. I let him know why I'm here. Down to the last minute detail. I tell him how excited I am and how I can't wait to have the time of my life. I stop pre preemptively though because I feel like I, a rant was coming along. Whoa, that's heavy. That's not the answer I was expecting, but I'm definitely happy for you. I'm just here to spend some time with my brother. It's been a while, you know? He was a big fan of Cl Clay's. He would have killed to win that contest. Well, that's awfully sweet. I hope him and his brother have a wonderful time. Wait, I thought he said he was here to meet friends. This person keeps lying to me. This is a liar! Now he's here for his brother? Next thing you know, he'll be here for everything else, too. I feel like he's hiding something. Is my cat still there? Why don't she come in here, lay on my PlayStation, and leave? It's my first time in Tokyo, though. I can't wait to go to a uh, maid cafe. I hear those are the best. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder how that they're made. Uh, I don't know. I'm having a realization that his attention span is not the str his strong suit. I feel like we're talking about 10 things per minute here. Perhaps he's not hiding anything as much as he is planning lots of stuff. What about you? Would you ever go to a maid cafe? What does that sound like? You know, it depends on what kind, man. It depends on what kind, like, are we talking about like males, males, or female? I don't know, I'd love to. Awesome. We'll have to see if we can keep in contact then. I've been looking at the tourist sites and found some places. I actually have quite a few cafes I'd like to check out. I'm not in any rush though, since I'll be here for a year. A year, jeez. Huh? <clears throat> Before I can question him any further, the train starts moving again. Everyone stands up, jerks back, and sudden movement. That didn't take long. Very long at all. That was it. Wow. I sure was scared for nothing. The train just stopped. <laughs> it wasn't like it was going to explode. I let out a nervous laugh. As I'm not sure what to say to him. I wouldn't want to say the wrong thing and belittle him for freaking out. You know, it's actually, it actually wouldn't be that bad to hang out with this guy at a maid cafe. He seems like he'd be interesting company to keep. He never seems to sort of, he never seems short of conversation and always has lots to talk about. That's all you really need. I wonder what Rook was like. More importantly, I wonder how he'd treat me when I, we meet, especially after that text message incident. He really didn't seem happy that I showed him doubt. In fact, I had a distinct feeling that I'd be hearing about it later. However, I could rest easy knowing that I told him the truth. You know, what if this is like one of the games where it's just like game over just because you made a mistake like five questions back? 
and they just let you keep going through with it. <laughs> when one to lie. I think that momentarily pitfall from telling a momentary pit I think that a momentary pitfall from telling the truth is better than lying with the intent to hide. It's just so much simpler to tell the truth, no matter how those around you react. <laughs> Speaking of lies, I start to feel a wave of guilt over coming. I thought that maybe Killa would be super impressed with who I was, but telling him and breaking that NDA really didn't give me any headway. I'm pretty sure I just broke several laws. I really hope that there's no way for Rook to find out about this. Of course myself for a moment, wondering why I thought it would be a cool to brag. The events of the train ride seemed to be playing through my mind like clockwork. I wonder over and over what would have changed if I said things dif different things. Was I happy with what I said? I don't remember the last time I got so analytic. Analytical. Perhaps it was because of that weird vision I had. I can control my own destiny or something like that. What a ridiculous thought. If I could control my own destiny, I don't think this is where I'd want to be. Or would it be? I don't know. Well, we're here now. At that exact moment, I felt an intense pain attack my chest. You're having a heart attack. More pain than I ever felt before. It pulses with my heartbeat. It's unbearable. I go to clutch my gut intensively. Why are you clutching your gut if it's in your chest? Only to find out that I cannot move. Everyone around me seems to be have frozen in place. The pain radiates through my body until eventually settling in my head. I feel a burning pain. My eyes start to water and I feel a tear stream down my cheek. I can't move. I can't call for help. But then I feel that palm on my shoulder again. Oh, it's you, dude. How you doing? And the pain fades away. What the hell? I'm glad that you're starting to ask the important questions, Yiffer. What would have happened if you said something different? How would the world shape around this? Analyzing our choices is the only way to ensure we make the correct ones in the future. For example, you expressed interest in the idea of the maid cafe with Killa. Can't say that's what I would have chosen. Soon you'll be surrounded by new and interesting people. No need to plan with someone outside of that circle. But I digress. If that is truly something you desire, then I have no way to change that. As your will is will reality. And my option is not your and my opinion is not yours. I do not mean to make you feel as if you've made the wrong choice here. But then there's Rook. You can't help but feel like your response to his message affected your relationship. And not for the better. I'm sure he'll come around though. Telling him the truth was the right thing to do. If you had only waited a few minutes to respond, however, the train began working quite quickly. But there's my issue. The train stalling did not convoy the internal workings of your mind. If anything, you were excited to arrive and begin your adventure. So then why, huh? It appears that even I do not know everything. Perhaps that is the best. I remain ignorant in some capacity, much like those around you should have. Why did you tell Killa of your involvement in the contest? That seems odd. Well, you know, screw the NDA. I just wanted to, you know, make a friend. I'm sorry, I don't have any friends in Japan, so that could have been my first friend. You jerk. I do not endorse the breaking of contracts in any way. I feel that if Kayla is the type to talk, you could be in deep trouble. Well, he is the type to talk, but I don't know. He seems to be keeping secrets, though, more often than not. Of course, we cannot deem this as a good or bad choice, since even if he does speak up, it'll likely not come back to you. I'll admit that I also like to gloat sometimes. I can hold you accountable for that in the slightest. So, as you can see, a choice is not simply a choice. A choice is a consequence, whether 
immediate or far off. God damn it, it's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? And a choice is a chance for deep reflection of both you and others. So for all of our sakes, I hope that you put immense thought into your choices from here on out. Alas, my input can only go so far. The choices are still yours to make. I can partake in the reflection with you, however, we are unable to change that. It has already been done. We lack that power. <clears throat> I know how you feel like I owe you some answers, and that might be, that might well be true, but they do not come so soon. Shit, okay, I can save, okay. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys I can enjoy this video. I'll be doing this probably daily. I, I don't see no harm in it. But like I said, if there is ever anything like that, yeah, we're definitely gonna censor. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time with another one of these. I'm probably gonna play some Paper Mario later on tonight. And upload that at the same time as I upload this. So, good night, y'all.